Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got a Dota 2 video here for you. Why and so on I will explain in just a second because it's single draft. I can only pick out of three heroes which is wonderful and I'm actually thinking about going clockwork as I am a tank slash bruiser type of guy in most MOBA games and as far as I can tell clockwork is currently the tank and a very nice initiator which is possibly what my team needs also by the looks of it. As far as my uh, very, very little knowledge of Dota 2 goes. This is like, what, my 6th or 7th game of Dota 2 ever? Question mark? So let's go to pick, uh, pick Clockwork. Nice little uh, robot looking fella. Ten seconds remaining. Not even a robot, he's just a dude with armor, but there you go. I have fought against him before and he can be a very giant pain in a certain place behind you. But let's jump into the game, select our guide, which is uh, one of the systems that I like. Let's see, the best of Genker build. Is there a potential... Uh, it looks like we're all going to have to go... Uh, probably like to you know, read the English part of it, so there we go. We have our ability set. So let's do this. Let's go into the shop and buy our items. I like to pick these up. Can I have enough? Yes, it's almost like it was designed for it. Right, I'm going to click this screen away as I don't need that anymore. And it looks like I either have to go in top or mid. I'm going to ask. But yeah, the reason why I am going to go and play a little bit of Dota 2 is because I really don't know um, why I stopped playing Dota 2. Well, I actually do know that is not entirely true. The reason why I stopped playing Dota 2 is because one, the community got really under my skin. Um, well, not well, usual Dota uh, MOBA games, I mean. And the reason why I never really focused on Dota 2, even though it looks amazing, I find that the graphic style is just all kinds of wonderful. The reason behind that is. If you look at the learning curve that is required for Dota 2, it's a lot higher. There's no back button. There is no... Um, what's the word I was looking for? No, well, if you if you die, you lose money. You have to deny on top of last hitting, of course. And after you play multiple MOBAs again, you have to relearn every type of hero or god or champion. Whatever it is that it is called in that game. You know, based on attack speed, so you can get the last hitting down. You have to understand the world. And there's also runes in this game. You know, it, it's a yes. little bit overwhelming, if you like. Let's see what this is. Rocket Flare. Don't forgive an area damage enemies, providing efficient efficient yeah. speed. Alright. Basically just a, a casual AoE. Let's see how this works. Incoming. Something like that. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's a lot to take in. And if the community doesn't support you... It's going to get pretty hard. And also, to make a Dota video that might be entertaining to watch, you know, it, I'm not sure if that's doable for me because already I try to do the same thing with Smite, and I am not a great Smite player either. I just show you guys my thought process with a funny accent, make some bad jokes every now and then, and we'll go from there, right? Oh, that's, I probably should get out of here. I was trying to last hit, but. This is the first time ever that I am actually using clockwork myself. Now Tiny is of course a high burst, very annoying nuker. He looks very tanky, but he's more of a uh, a burst caster I believe, and a disabler. Very deceptive look. But I do have to admit that I very much like the graphic style of Dota 2. I'm not sure which one I like better, League of Legends or Dota 2. So we'll see. Oh, I do have to admit that I do enjoy the the shop system in Dota 2 a lot better than any system that I've seen so far. Because normal any systems are just skins. This is our items and of course very much like TF2. You know, you can pick up misks and you can basically make your own item. Which is wonderful. So I think that once you get beyond that learning curve, I think that Dota 2 is more rewarding. Because it has a lot of higher learning curve. Uh, which can be used against you, or also all these new mechanics that you have to pay attention to can be used against you. But it can also be used against them and become very rewarding because of that. Let's just use a flare, do some harassment. What's my Q actually about? Battery assault. Discharge a high-powered shrapnel at a nearby enemy and it didn't met. Alright, so... 
Wait. Oh, it's just... Alright, like that. Alright, does periodic damage near... Uh... Alright, that was a waste of mana, but at least I know what it does now. I guess that kind of does something. Alright, let's just snipe this caster right there. Alright, we have another level. So as you can see, I'm not yet built to uh, basically gank because I do need my hookshot for that. And then use it with power cogs. And then battery assault as well. And then just hammer away with auto attacks. I suppose I think that that's kind of the combo. And just gank like that and hopefully allow my team to do a lot of good stuff. Let's deny that because it's a very important mechanic. Let's deny that as well just to be sure. Alright. There we go. Probably should pick up some boots at this stage. Couldn't hurt. Movement speed is always important. Let me see what the early game items are. Looks like I need to get a bracer. Core items, face and blade mill. Yeah, that yes. kind of makes sense. So let's focus on getting ourselves a face boot. And see what we can do with that, shall we? Right, trying to harass Tiny here just a tad a little bit. Because it seems to be important. But I know that a lot of you guys also have basically asked me to play some Dota too. So here we go. That's kind of your wish fulfilled then. But let me know what you think about what game you would prefer to see. If you know what I mean. I'm not entirely sure why there was a ping in the jungle here. But there is one missing top. So I believe... That I should rebind that to my middle mouse button. I figured that probably would be better. Uh, I could possibly now initiate and do power cogs and then lock him in. As we get our first blood in what appears to be the bottom lane, I think. Uh -huh. Double kill even. Is that bottom lane? I think so. Nice gank there or assist by uh, Lina. Props to Lina right there. A good middle lane is probably pretty damn wonderful. Also, I'm not sure if Dota 2 actually has a, a jungle thing. I believe so because there are uh, icons that class very good at uh, jungling and such. I'm knowing there's some kind of jungle meta. But I also don't know the meta in Dota 2. Which also puts me at a severe disadvantage. It's very hard to get in a, a big MMO like this. Or um, MMO, well, in a MOBA like this. And it's all very, very um, overwhelming. And I, will, I, I usually can keep my ground after a couple of games. Um, but I always get surprised then. And, and then if I have, a, you know, the, the, uh, the usual awesome community. That really isn't all that awesome sometimes. It, ki it kind of gets a little bit weird. But a luck in Tiny here. We should be able to get the kill. There you go. Weaver picks up the kill. Which is totally fine with me, to be honest. As I am going to just try and build tank. I'm just going to clean up the minions here. Love the power cogs, by the way. If I'm sure, then... Uh, if I understand the abilities right, then Clockwork might be one of the better gankers. Uh, or laners, depending on who you're fighting with. Just because you can lock him in. And if you build him really tanky, he's just going to stand there. Making your life a slight living hell. Alright. Taking a little bit too much damage, if you uh, can say that. So I'm just going to walk back. Pop my healing pot and my mana pot. Should not take damage, otherwise my healing get interrupted. But I should get to full health, roughly speaking. No, just a little bit under, but that's fine. That's fine. I still have my passive regen ticking. How much do I need to finish that off? 900, almost there. Just a couple of last hits and I should be fine. There we go. Also, last hit is so... It's, I feel like last hitting is also so much more important in Dota 2 than, let's say, Smite or League of Legends. So much more important. Because, as you can see... Actually, there is a... Uh, you do generate money over time. But you saw the last hitting. You get a lot of money from that. It is indeed missing on top. Just, I have to really bind that to middle mouse button the next game if I don't forget. If I actually keep playing Dota 2. I do like it, though. Like, I, I do like games that look pretty. I'm a, I'm a sucker for... Um, Pretty looking things. Alright, that was stupid. Oh, I actually uh, used my Q there as well. So I'm still getting used to all the key bindings because every game has different key bindings and I tried to rebind them but it didn't really work. Actually, I tried to use my uh, smart cast abilities. Didn't work as planned, to say the least, due to the fact that suddenly all my things were gone. Alright, I do have my hookshot right here. Is that really a big range? That's a hell of a lot of range on it. And not even that long of a cooldown. So that's, that's going to be pretty awesome. What's the rage of my flare shot? Oh, that's that's quite big. Wait, what? That's quite a lot of range. Surprisingly enough. What's the range on this? Radius. Huh? 
I'm not even sure. That looked like a lot of range. He's gonna try and use that ability. Try to run out of his stun. Didn't really work that well. We still have one missing on top. I almost have enough for my face boots. So I'm just gonna buy... Uh, do I want to yes. buy one of them? Yes, I only want to buy one of them. If I do die, at least uh, I don't lose that much money. Because once, uh, like I said at the earlier, to, uh, the English, it sometimes is a little bit hard. Like 5 or 6 in the morning. Once you haven't slept. Like I was saying, if you die, you lose your money. Which is a, a mechanic that make it, makes it very infuriating once you have a, a team that doesn't support you properly. Like for example, one of my games, I had an Omni Knight that constantly went on its own to the top lane. Even though we were fighting in mid, and Omni's Knight's ultimate was the key to our victory. We won that match after everybody in our team basically started begging Omni Knight to team fight. But, you know, I did die a couple of times because I had no heals or support and I was trying to, you know, be the front line. Now, not that my deaths were all that important, but, you know, when you're trying to build and you constantly keep dying because you're trying to do the right thing for your team, it does kind of become a little bit annoying. Not sure what happened here, but um, yeah, looks like he has to go back and pick up my uh, my stash. Uh, I think so he's gonna go back to the stop uh, to the shore, the shore. He's gonna back to the shop at spawn and hopefully pick up my second. Uh, yeah, my second yeah. beloved blades of attack, so I can get my wonderful face boots. Let's just put a flare attack. down there. This range is really weird though. It looks like it's way bigger. Mm -hmm. Right. Here we go. Face boots are underway. What are my next items going to be? I think I should just try and get blade mail as early as I can. And then... Let's see. Do I actually get an upgrade from that? Upgraded by... Oh yeah, it is by... Uh, the scepter does upgrade it. So I think it's blade mail that's going to be next. Which is good. Yeah. Makes me a lot tankier. Which means I can just just go in and actually tank properly. But yeah, I might I want to pick up uh, one a carry? Assault Curious is also pretty good. Oh yeah, Millionaire, also wonderful item. One of my favorite items. Unfortunately, I play usually tanky guys. And a lot of tanky guys can justify that particular item on him. Oh, so we have one additional dude here on the top lane. And of course, my lane partner is going to go to base. So I have to be very careful. Luckily enough, I have an ability that has a yes. flare gun basically allowing me to see where the enemy is. So I'm going to see how far I can actually shoot it. It does shoot it, as you can see. Yes. So I can basically... Is that a, I don't understand what the radius on that item is. It showed only like the range around me, right? It's, it's a really weird thing, I have to admit. I can apparently shoot it... Um, middle tower is under attack. Hmm. But yeah, looks like I have to spam it uh, around level 10. But I can pretty much just snipe people with it, assuming uh, I can do a lot of nice damage with it. Alright, I'm gonna get stunned here if I don't watch out. Let's see if I can actually hit him here if I shoot it. Let's watch the flare go. Yeah, it does actually do damage. Let's just shield it. Just for a second. Alright. Mid tower is gone. We are 7 kills ahead though. But they have a tower. So let's just try and push this tower into the abyss. Now, I do have my hookshot enabled. But I can only do a hookshot and that's pretty much done. So if I can... Oh, the, if the weaver, I'm not sure if a weaver has a stun or anything. He's going to look for something. And I don't have enough mana as well. I don't have a lot of mana at all. Need all my mana to be able to combo. Need about 200 to um, hopefully do it correctly. So I can lock him in after a hook shot. Oh, do I pull to me? <laughs> Alright, I launched myself into the target. So I got stunned now. I'm gonna use my. Oh, that's, that's painful. Alright, let's use my. Everything I've got here. Oh, that was wonderful. I almost died. That's the burst damage of Tiny for you. Do pick up a kill right there. What Weaver does. But now I'm going to die. Try and use my face boots to get away. But there is you. Nat Nature's Prophet just coming in and just using his ability to nuke me from orbit. Well, not even from orbit. Just from next to me. I was very low. 
and I didn't know where Nature's Prophet was. What did he actually use on me, to be honest? Wrath of Nature, damage energy bounces around the map, etc. And just a basic attack, so yes, indeed, a combination of two was just enough to get me down. As I was trying to juke him, but of course I didn't have enough health to start anything. But that's okay. I've had worse situations. So, what do I want to do? I do may want to pick up Bracers though, just for the initial health. There you go. Let's pick up a, um, a Town Portal Scroll and start working on our Blade Mail from that point forward. Alright. Here we go. Let's teleport back. And let's keep going. Now if I can just get a hook shot. There we go. We might get another kill on Tiny right here. Let's use the flare. Now I am the one that gets the kill. But there is Nature's Prophet, unfortunately. He's coming out of nowhere. As he does not pick up Weaver. Does a lot of damage though. Not tanky whatsoever yet. Luckily enough, I picked up the Bracer, which does give me strength, which does, I believe, give me a little bit of um, lovely health. Probably shouldn't tank the minions. That might be a proper idea, I think. Let's see if we can actually do some last hitting. Let's pick up the Flare. Oh, I am really bad at last hitting. But there you go. Nature's Prophet missing. Just gonna inform. I'm not sure if I, he just was out of range or he has a, uh, an invisible ability. I'm not sure. But yeah, things you cannot see, regardless of an ability or just line of sight, are always going to be annoying. So let me see what this is about. Let's see if I can actually get a snipe off here or something. I don't know. Apparently my flare is able to shoot all across the map. Clockwork being a beast there. He just goes for it. Do I hit anything? No, I just I hit a caster minion. Wow, that that's wonderful. So apparently you can actually finish off somebody like that. Which is quite fun. And very rewarding, I can tell, if you do get it. Wow, we do have a kill right there. Um, let's just pick up Chainmail. We'll pick up the Rope of Magi next. Let's just clean up here. I do have Face Boots with a very low cooldown. I just have to make sure that Tiny doesn't show up, because if Tiny shows up, I'm pretty much down. We are way overextended. I'm just going to go back right now. Don't trust there's any... Well, there's four downwards, so we should actually be able to, sh to take this tower down, hopefully. If we take a little bit of a punch. Weaver might get killed right there. I'm not sure. No, he survives. I'm going to tank the tower. I'm going to use a flare. I'm going to use my Q as well. Just to bring down the means just a tad bit faster. There we go. And now I'm going to make a run for it, as I don't see four people on the map anymore downstairs. Let's see. Can I pick up the Magi? Yes, I can. Now I just need to pick up the Broadsword, and I got the item that I need. Alright, do I want to go back to base, or do I want to just start sniping for funsies? Uh, well, well, we do have the tower, so I might want to just help out at the side lane or something. I don't know. Do I want to do that? I think I probably should do that. Magic Wand would have been probably nice as well. Just because of the uh, mana regen. Which kind of makes sense considering uh, the low mana that I have. Mm -hmm. Or the charge that's going to that will give you mana. But I think I'll just uh, play it safe. Save up my money to finish off my Blade Mail. Which only needs 1200. Which is easily done. Alright, let's just see what I can do here. If I snipe. Anticipation of sniping. As I will move to the mid. Can I actually see it? Oh, it's not going to happen, is it? Nope, it's not going to turn into anything. Nope. It's just going to be some vision right there. But yeah, they are definitely trying to push that bottom lane. So I'm going to help out, hopefully. Let's spam my face boots. Oh, we have Luna. Is that Lina or Luna? No, it's Lina. Luna has a, uh, a moon type character. Oh, wow, she goes hyphy. Did she get some double kill? I'm not even sure. I'm going to see if I can help her out. I don't see the range of my hookshot yet in range. But it should be there soon, though. There it is. Let's see what I can do. If I go in from the sideline. Here we go. Oh, I miss it. That was awful. But he is now sincerely behind me. I just have to get close to him. And use my clock. There you go. Use my Q. Use my flare gun. And down he goes. There you go. Missed my hookshot, which is definitely something that I just used. My hookshot was used for the very first time ever. 
uh, and I missed it, which is kind of to be expected because you're not used with the projectile. You don't know what the range is really because I believe that the rocket flare isn't all that big either. But apparently I can cross shoot it across the goddamn map for no apparent reason. It only says radius 575. There's a small thing around me. But apparently I can... Uh, Fires a global range flare that explodes over a given area damaging enemies and providing vision for 10 seconds. Even though the radius that around it says this. So it's very, very... Weird for me, to, if you can understand that. Alright, let's just see what we can do here if we shoot a flare down there. As it will hopefully defend this particular place. to get a nice bit of money there and a bit of vision. As I get into position. There we go. Hookshot. Some more monies. Almost getting the 1200. There we go. Let me just shoot a flare over here. Just to give him some vision. Alright. Also it gives vision over the travel range. Which is kind of neat. Here we go. Uh, I have enough mana potentially to use my RW combo. But I don't know which illusion is the real one. So I have to see yes. which one he is controlling. They might just be controlling it all together. Don't know that for sure, of course. Yes. Let's see what the vision is saying over here. Damn it, that was painful. Oh, there we go. There is Tiny. I'm going to die. That is wonderful. People. There are four people down there, I think. So they might be able to push that top tower in quite effectively. That was painful. There you go. That's Tiny burst damage for you. All the trees are down as well. The tower is not even doing all that much damage. That's a two for nothing gank. They're going to burn everything down here and then bring the tower down as a result of that as well don't have any money really left yeah that bottom tower is a goner unfortunately so uh, I need 400 more can't say anything useful at this stage so what will I do I will hopefully just keep on saving I guess uh, not much else that I can do to be honest Probably should get him uh, out of out of there because they might be coming for him. Not sure I don't see anyone on the map though. Let's shoot the flare down here. Well, it's gonna be all kinds of wasted. Well, no, I do get two mains out of it. Wonderful. Now, if I just had a little bit more tankiness under the tower, I would have been saving my behind. But of course, I would have had the item by now. But unfortunately, as you saw, I lose money while I die. Let's just clean this wave up, hopefully getting some nice last hits in. There you go. One more. Oh, do get it. Let's pick up the item that I need, the broadsword, and bring it to me. Let's use the boost as well. Top tower is gone. Do she a... Who is it anyway? Timbersaw. It must have been a skin of Timbersaw then. Never seen some Timbersaw look like that. Or I've seen somebody else with a Timbersaw look like that. Alright, so we have our Blade Saw. Or our Blade Mill, I mean. Active damage return returns any damage you take to the unit that deals the damage. Lasts for 4.5 seconds. So, you can see, if I do get attacked, it will be wonderful. Apparently he was AFK. Didn't even notice that. Well, there you go. Alright. Faithless Void has left. That is interesting. Alright, let's just clean up. I believe it's pretty much safe. Let's make my Q to clean up a little bit faster. I have the mana regen, I believe, to take care of that. And now that our vision is gone, I'm just going to see if I can get a hook shot. Oh, got it! Got the hook shot! My Q, there's my Q. That was a wonderful, wonderful thing. I just need to get the hell out though. All right, that was awesome. I landed it, I anticipated, I landed it, and it was awesome. That was, that is how you are supposed to use your hook shots. Get the kill, unfortunately I'm completely out of mana. Do have a nice chunk of money though. But my ability also takes mana by the looks of it. So what I do I wanna pick up as a result of this? 
I guess the scepter then, because it gives me 10, a lot of health and mana as well. So what can we do with this? I guess I pick up strength a then? For a trap. I guess that's the first step into the right way, or perhaps do I want to get the point booster? I think I should probably just get the point Trip booster, back. because that is also the weapon, the only thing from the secret shop. And then if I buy the other pieces one at a time, I should be able to just do get the courier to bring him to me without uh, having to worry about place or room in my beloved my inventory. I probably should also sell my shield at some point because I don't believe it's actually required. Sp blocks most target spells. Oh, uh, Lincoln's Fire is also a very lovely item that I might want to pick up myself. Right, d but do I want to actually pick that up? Is it very expensive? Five. It's very expensive, isn't it? Yep. Ooh, ultimate orb. That's definitely something. But yeah, there you go. A little bit more mana, a little bit more health, which is wonderful. Getting that uh, item that will make my ultimate potentially even better. All right, here we go. Now, if I'm fighting, I should probably try and enable my axe. Or if I get a nice hook shot, if he does decide to attack me. All right, don't see anyone just yet. A little bit worried. Right, they are apparently jungling. So let me just get up in here. There we go, I'm just gonna lock you in. Gonna use my X right there and my Z just to keep up with you. Yeah, okay, you're gonna die right now. So nice pick for me there. Not even using my ultimate. Gonna see if I can use my ultimate though. Can I use it? Oh, nope, it's not gonna work. It's out of range. Oh, there's Tiny as well. They are pretty much all here. We need to get the hell out of here because this is getting all kinds of dangerous. I can't do anything against this. Oh, this is going to be painful. I'm going to use my axe to try and do as much damage as I can. Tiny is going to have a field day though. He does die. Tankiness, underestimated. I am underestimating my own tankiness. Don't have enough mana to pull him in though. Oh, otherwise I would have been so proud of myself. If, oh wait, I might have enough mana just in time. No, I don't. Maybe I can lock him in with my... With my W. Ah, yeah. uh, no. I'm overextended. I'm behind the tower. I need to get the hell out of here. However, on a more oh. fun note, have enough for my first item. Uh, at least for one of the first three things that I need. So I'm going to pick up my Ogre Club. And then continue onward. Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We do see something nice here. Let's see what we can do if we go over here. Yeah, what now? Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, apologize you. Or apologize for my teammates. Because we're going to kill you with it. Oh, please kill him. Please kill them both. And that's a two for three. Not sure. But I died. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we're still back was here as well. So he died as well, unfortunately. He now also has blade mail. So he's also going to go for that lovely tanky uh, build by the looks of it. Because I believe he goes as a tank as well am i right i don't even know anymore but whatever the case may be i'm gonna sell my iron branch while i'm alive or when i respawn and that was a nice nice move from me right there locked them both in did a lot of damage thanks to my blade mail and of course my q and all kinds of wonderful things got a double kill here for lena and if she gets her things sorted she is going to be wonderful because she can be played as a carry if i'm not mistaken but she has a lot of burst damage, so getting people with burst damage awesome uh, items usually means good stuff, as many of you should know. Right, got my, well, another 10 strength, so that is good. Probably going to pick the scepter up next. Alright. Let's see what this is. Clockwork is awesome. First I'm playing clockwork, already feeling at home here. Alright. Mm -hmm. I hope he has better skins though, because the skin that I that he does have, not really my favorite. Incoming. There you go. Uh -huh. Let's just last hit all the things, or and as I say that, I don't last hit. Right, missile lasted up yes. there. We do see a potential possibility possibility here to hopefully yeah. get a kill. I'm gonna see if I can cut him off. Now he's gonna die. Uh, His friends are coming in. So how about I just hook you in then, good sir? Wait, it blocked? Why did it block exactly? 
Not even sure what happened there, but it blocked. Alright, use my face boots, then I will just manually lock you in there. Use my axe right there. I'm taking a lot of damage, but he's gonna die. There you go. We should move out there. Yeah, I can exactly. I can also destroy my uh, my power cogs right there. We should be good at this stage. Can build another item. We're gonna build my staff of wizardry. I'm gonna keep pushing. We're doing great. All right. This 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 makes me feel like the mummy or whatever that I uh, the pharaoh was that in called the heroes of Newark or was that Dota one? I played so many MOBAs, I like it all kind of melts together, unfortunately. All right, I got to have to get out of here. I do have to get out of here, or maybe I can hook him in. No, I can't. Me and Wave. Oh, it also triggers on apparently. I'm not even sure why I did that, but there you go. Why I can one hit kill them? I'm gonna use my Q and my Z just to get out of here. All right. Gonna use my axe there to absorb some damage. There is timber. As I probably should make my getaway, judging by my health. Alright, face boots, here we go. Let's get the hell out of here as I pick up my agility. And now I should have enough for my scepter. But it does appear also that um, I have to get away. We are way ahead in kills. But... Kills don't really matter if you don't help your towers out. Now, okay, this tower should be just fine. We are pretty equal on towers. We have one more tower, but we have a lot of nice kills. You would expect if you have so many kills, you would have pushed a little bit harder as well. So, very deceptive. And one wrong team fight, and it's pretty much over. All right. There we go. There's my scepter, guys. All right, decreased uh, decreased cooldown on my range, at least on my uh, ultimate right there. Not too bad right now. Can hook for days. All right, next item. Um, what would be good? I would like to have a little bit more tankiness and also make my team a bit tankier. So I think assault. Do I want to go carry mode, or do I want to perhaps do something with my bracers first? Hmm. Or maybe a shield. I would really like to get this item. I think that's this is a wonderful item. I think I'll just go with it. I'll just go get it. What the hell? It's gonna take a while anyway. Don't have any money. I can always change my mind at this stage. So we're good. All right. Let's see what we have. We have to push forward now. We have to group up and push. There we go. Probably should try and use. My flares to my advantage. Let's see if I can anticipate movement. Uh, he's gonna... Faceless voice is gonna get destroyed right there. Do have some vision, but it's not gonna work. He's gonna go down. If he lives, I am going to laugh for days. He tried, though. He tried to hide, but they are not having it. We have to group up and fight. And not go our separate ways. Not at this stage in the game. That would just get us all killed. Alright, here we go, they, look, they are at the river by the looks of it, using my fa face boots to close in. Does actually enter enemy clockwork closer, are damaged and stunned. Non-neutral enemies. So also, yeah, also, uh, also just the regular creeps I suppose then, as I anticipated. Looks like I might want to save or attempt to try and save this tower. Let's see. Got some vision in the jungle. Spring forward. Right. Don't want to give my position away. Maybe they want to attempt a gank of some sorts. Faceless void is here. And there are two bottom. They might want to go for a gank at bottom there. Just gonna ping to force them a little bit back. Let's see if I can actually get some vision here on the river. There are probably better ways of putting it down. But at this stage I'm just worried of getting a little bit of vision. I'm not sure what the optimal positions are to shoot or the highest chance of getting a vision on something or someone. Looks like we have an enemy below us though. No, no, I, oh, I, I should use my 
E, not my ultimate. There you go, hit him. So now we know where he is. A fine adjustment. Gonna stick around my faceless voice though. Because he feels yes. like a pretty good person to have with me. If not, I should just get a range because I don't believe they can walk oh, through my cogs. Well, hello. How are you doing, good sir? Let's use my Q right there. I'm gonna die here. And there's also the forest dude. So I died that he, does he have regen? Oh yeah. That kinda makes my life a living hell. So there you go, faceless void is probably gonna die right now if he doesn't get out. Time walk. Makes me think of Kronos. Yeah, Kronos. <laughs> Definitely Kronos. Your middle tower is under attack. All right, but do have a nice K. I don't have a K at all. Do I have a K? Uh, no, I don't even have a K at all. I thought I had a K for a second there. But it's because I had a different uh, hero selected. So that was my bad. I was trying to go in uh, alone, trying to do something. But I don't have any items really that allow me to do a lot of damage. So I should also work, always try and work with somebody on my team. So I'm going to try and just move up with Lina here. I think working with Lina would be in my favor as he has a r long range nuke. He can nuke in my cogs if I can lock somebody in. It would be wonderful. Alright. Let's see what we can do. I might have to save Spring our forward. top tower though. Faceless Void is here. Which is going to be awesome if he does have a, a lot of attack speed. Okay. Oh, she gets a triple kill? I definitely want to be her lane partner. Right. Let's just uh, move up there. I'm going to let Kronos or Faceless, uh, Faceless Void do his own little thing right there. He has that little nice dash that is basically just uh, a time walk. Is it actually a dash or a time walk? Rushes to a target location, yeah. For a second I thought it might have been uh, goes back to a targeted location where he was like four seconds ago or something crazy like that. Right, just gonna give them vision of the, of the secret shop. Just in case somebody wants to uh, gank him. If I can't get kills for them or tank for them, I will give them vision. It's a very low cooldown and of course the ability says at the bottom, at the guide, spam it. So, I will certainly do such a thing. Alright, level 16 right now. Faceless Void duking it out there with Tiny, actually winning by the looks of it. Oh. I should just not watch it. Oh, he's gonna just get a time lock. It's a proc. It's a very annoying proc. Gonna try to get the flare off as well for you, good sir. Oh, there's the chrono swear. Oh, Tiny, you are dead meat, aren't you? I hope. Are you? Oh, there's the... Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, wow, he gets the kill. Oh, that's just immense, isn't it? There you go. Gonna lock this bastard in. Mr. Forest, dude. Or I'll just knock you back. I'm okay with that as well. Let's just auto attack this particular thing. There's a flare. And apparently uh, he disappeared on me. Did he die? Or he looks like he died. But in my eye he just like vanished. Like he went invisible or something. Well whatever the case may be. They have two people down. We have two people down. So let's see if we can actually make something out of it. Which will give us the advantage of the entire situation. Why am I using my ultimate right there? I am not even sure. Alright. Let's use my Q. My axe as well. Apparently uh, Weaver there not doing much of anything. Oh, that's because he was still alive. He wa Who is that then? I was convinced it was... Did he just... Alright, I need to learn how his abilities work. Wrath of Nature. Alright, so we threw it out. We should have gone back indeed. Converge an area of trees into treants, which are basically creeps like creep like. Teleport to any point on the map. Sprout. The enemy's middle wow. Has Is it an item that he perhaps has? I don't even know what's going on at this stage. That dude is just. Oh, I'm not here anymore. Oh, wait. I am. And then you're dead. Wow. Our team just got ruffle stomped. 
No, I don't want to see who killed me anymore. I can't take it. All right, I have about a K at this stage. Do I want to pick up a nice plate mail? Don't have enough money for that though. Ooh, there's also a hyperstone that I need to get at the secret shop. Hmm. Your bottom tower is under attack. Do I want to risk it and get plate mail? Or do I want to get another item perhaps? Lincoln Swear would probably be awesome. But that's going to be hell of expensive. It's all secret shop. Hmm. What do you do at this stage in the game, right? What do you decide for? Maybe I should get the drums as well. Uh, I'll just get the chainmail. I can always build chainmail into other things that might yes. be useful. Well, it looks like I'm going to change into the aura because it would be so helpful for my team. Alright. Orange. I have to look at her. I'm just gonna stick around with her and just pretend that I know what I'm doing. I wasted my ultimate so many times. Luckily enough, it has a relatively low cooldown. So I should make use of that cooldown, shouldn't I? Right. That's a teleport. Let's see what kind of range we have over here. There we go. Let's use my axe if I do take some damage. There we go. That turns into a kill. Let's just farm the minions here as well then. Just a dead bit. So that went wonderful. I did get a hook on him. I'm not sure if I actually hooked him. But if, if I didn't hook him, he was locked out by going back uh, by my power cogs. Anyway, so whatever that case would be, that was well done. I'm just not sure if that was really well done or just decently done. Not sure, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's see what we can do over here. Alright. Let's just clean up here for a second. Do see minions there at the river. But our main damage dealer is not there, so this might turn out a little bit ugly. But we have Faceless Voice here, but I can only lock him out and not in. Alright, we have Tiny there. Don't want to go through the river. That might turn out relatively ugly. Right, she's here now as well. Gonna use a Flare for Vision. Alright. Alright, come on, come on, where are you? Wait, it didn't do anything? I didn't even see it go off. Oh! Did I get the assist? I'm not even sure if I got an assist for that. Oh, damn it. I can't walk through it. It also locks me in. Oh, I forget about it. Only if it's upgraded, right? It can do that. If my memory serves me well. Whatever the case may be. We are looking very strong right here. Just gonna pick up my plate mail. If I do die, at least I have that with me. Here we go. Let's use a flare just to clean up just a tad bit faster. We can go for the barracks right now. Allowing our creeps to improve. Right, avoiding those axes. Those look quite painful to say the least. Can I shoot at him? Nope. Just hit the building. So you can actually pull yourself to buildings as well. The more you know. So I had one monster hook. And that is pretty much all the monster hooks that we'll get this game. Probably can't land anything else by the looks of it. Right, let's just clean up this particular wave. Let's use my Q for that. Just for a little bit of damage. There you go. That should be enough. The next wave will be super minions. As we will get hopefully this tower down. Alright. Trying to... Oh, that's just... Spin to win, I suppose. Well, it looks like I'm silenced. Trying to use my axe and get some kind of an assist or reflect damage, but I don't even believe it actually does on range attacks, does it? Returns any damage, actually, so it does do that. But I'm not sure if it still triggers if I die or after I'm dead. I'm not sure. I don't think it does work like that, but nonetheless, we have gotten the middle barracks, as you can see. Mega range group, and they are working on the mid towers. 
So at some point they have to retreat. And for all now, Bristolback might get out as well. If Tiny doesn't get... That's mine. Tiny does have the mana to make it work. And he also has the Arcane Boots. As you can see, he definitely is a bit of a, a battle caster, if you like. Oh, Weaver. No, Bristolback, don't. They might be able to get him killed, though. There we go. That was a little bit too greedy on their side. I'm just going to see how much money I have. Do I have the plate ball in my stash? Do I have the chain mill already? I just need to get the hyperstone and the recipe and I'm good. I do apologize. I just uh, kicked my microphone. That was rather rude of me. Uh, probably should get rid of my stout shield at this stage. Let's sell. Oh, I have to be alive first. Well, it's just a couple of seconds. There we go. Sell it. Get the plate mail. Let the tankiness, well, still slowly begin. Well, they're all on the top lane already, so I'm just going to go and rush through the bottom lane. Do a bit of a split push. I won't be able to get there until they are forced to either retreat or to do anything else. This ability looks very dangerous, but it doesn't seem to be doing all that much damage. You know that feeling when you think an ability does massive damage, but it really doesn't? Does that make any sense? I don't even know anymore. Looks like this game is going to take quite a while. Almost an hour. Uh, if I predict when we are going to end it. If we don't randomly throw it, that is. Alright. We're getting a lot of nice money. There we go. And with a Q and a Flare means... Could have died faster, but... Uh, you've got to work with what you got. Let's keep moving. Oh wow, faceless void making it happen. I probably should with my t I should be with my team right now, but but it looks like they're just being fine. So I'm just gonna use their strength uh, in favor of our team because they can real they can manage for themselves. So I might just be uh, obnoxious there anyway. And now that I'm here, I can just split push and make the enemy team enemy's team's uh, life even more of a hell by split pushing. Because then if one of them goes my way. Which means the enemy team, the other side of my team, has an easier way of getting kills. Does it make any sense? I think it does. It's just a justification of not moving to my team. Alright, let's just clean up this tower. Clicking for days. Maybe get a barracks out of it as well. Who knows? We have a large minion wave. Gonna put in a vision. There we go. The enemy team might have given up. We're already working out the mid stage. I'm gonna walk up there. Let's use some face boots as we hit it for days. Let's use some vision or vision. Oh, that's a net. I'm I'm netted, but nonetheless, netted or not, dire structures. Oh, there's the chrono. Can I pull? No, I cannot. I was trying to pull into the chrono and see if I can pull myself through it, but it doesn't matter as we just achieved a victory. 50 minutes of a game. Wow. Not a good game nonetheless, considering this is what? Uh, less than 10 matches ever. First time clockwork. 7 kills, 6 deaths, 12 assists. I could definitely have done more. Last hits is embarrassing. Denies even more embarrassing. And of course, gold per minute. Almost the lowest of my team. And XP dash minute 408, which is also almost the lowest of my team. So, kind of embarrassing. Uh, 320... Actually, compared to the enemy team, I do was doing alright. But then again, we won, so it's to be expected. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about Dota 2. If you can still hear this message, because let's be honest, 50 minutes into a video, who is still watching anyway? But yeah, shall I make more or shall I not? And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.